Last time on Attack on Titan, grievances were aired as an alliance was formed to take down Eren Yeager, the enemy of humanity. And while many of our heroes aren't sure what to do with Eren once they get to him, they're all united in a quest to make it so that Eren stop his plans for genocide. What'll happen next? Let's find out. I never imagined Flock would take action this quickly. It's over if the Jaegerists destroy the flying boat, so why haven't they? Beats me. They probably doubt we're still around, let alone trying to stop Eren. It's easy enough to destroy it, but it'll take decades to restore the tech with most of the world gone. Plus, they'll want to ensure the mainland is empty. I think the reason they're here is to capture the Azumabito with all their boats and stuff. But the moment they realize we're here at the port, they'll blast the flying boat to smithereen. Preventing that will be difficult even with some of the nine. But if we can manage this much, we'll never take down the founder. Let's plan to... Bad storm coming. It's an omen! Episode 85. Traitor. Traitor! Huh. We've gotta kill them all at once. That's the only way to secure the flying boat. For this to work, we'll need all our titans and all our your weapons. Got it? Not so fast. What? If we go in recklessly, the Azumabita will get caught up in it. Right. Why should we care that about your distant relatives? They attacked our homeland. Wait, the Azumabita dying will pose a problem, Zanny. Isn't that right? It's true. I should be able to pilot the flying boat on my own. But without the Azumabita mechanics, it's just a boat without wings. Currently, the wings are fold folded up to make it easier to tow. And it's not just a matter of unfolding the wings. The original plan was to service it in the hangar I piloted after some training. How long will that take? I don't know. It depends on the Azumabita. I see. Sounds like you want to protect the Azumabita while they service the boat. But not just that. Without killing any of the Jaegerists who came to stop us. Huh? If possible. We've known them since they, we were cadets. So what's your plan? Tell me. How do you plan on buying enough time for the Azumabita to service the flying boat without killing anyone? And he asking the hard questions. Let's hear it, Armin. Do you have a grand plan like when you cornered me? There's no such plan. We either wipe them out or don't and lose the boat. Cold hard truths. Hold up. We're here to save people. And yet we gotta murder some of our friends first. What the hell? True. You guys shouldn't be expected to help out in this operation, nor expected to make that choice in the first place. Unlike us, you probably wouldn't have destroyed the wall that day. Like I thought, I'm the same as you. Is that what he meant? Yeah, that he destroyed the wall? Yeah! <laughs> If it was for something that he truly believed in, he'd take human lives. That's what he's doing right now, Ryder. You guys don't have to fight. Watch from a safe place with Gabby and Falco. If the Jaegerists spot you, you'll have no choice but to fight. So stay out of it. And just watch you guys slaughter each other? Is this even a situation that Titans alone can solve? I have no intention of spectating. After all, the Jaegerists have killed four already. Besides, humanity doesn't have much time left. I saw Titans crossing the sea, giving off tons of steam. Judging by their speed, they've probably set foot on Marley. Oof. I'm sure the closest cities in the northeast are already destroyed. Who knows? Who knew they'd cross the sea so quickly? Just how many have died thus far? <laughs> What you doing, McGath? Tell us where Aaron Yeager is headed. Talk, or I'll give you another elbow to bend. Jeez. I mean, you got her mouth, dude. Don't be scared. I won't kill you. Well, that's a relief. I changed my mind. I don't want to die till I see how this ends. If you take me with you, I might just say where Aaron is headed. Securing the boat comes first. We don't have time to torture her. <laughs> Connie. Armin, Mikasa, Jean. I want to apologize for my behavior last night. We were wrong. I was foolish to bring up justice. Disgusting as it is, I was desperately trying to justify my actions. I feared to look at myself and see I've become as vile as Marley. None of you are to blame. It's wrong to make you bear the sins of your pa of the past due to your race. Pete, Annie, Reiner. You shouldn't have to endure the world's hatred your whole lives either. However. 
It's our duty to remember this stupid blood-stained history and teach it to future generations. Aaron Yeager wants to eradicate everything, and that's unforgivable. This hell won't end until we turn away from all this senseless killing. But please, just this once, look the other way until this senseless bloodshed is over. Damn, I refuse. I won't stand by with clean hands. That's right. Even it's a, if it's against people who were your allies. To just turn away when injustice is being done. Then senseless killing is being done. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can live with myself. I'm not a fighter though, so I don't know if I'd even get involved. Just look at all that steam. We'll never see a day where history changes more. Of course, that includes... Hizuru's too. Civilization will be completely erased in all lands born anew. You need not worry about anything anymore. Just focus on contributing to the island. Fortunately, you have Hizuru's finest engineers here do, to do their part, right? If you don't want to lose any more of them, just do as you're told. Try to spoil your wonderful mood, but what change are you so happy about? If you think Paradise Island will be safe now, I'm afraid you're wrong. The world will shrink, that's all. You'll still continue to kill one another as always. I mean, see, she, she gets it. It's just like, you, you don't really seem to understand it. Yes, the world outside will be destroyed. But that's not the end of the world. The world simply shrinks. All the problems will still exist. It's just that they'll be a little bit closer to you now. Classism. Racism. Sexism. It's still gonna be there. It's just gonna be a lot easier to see now that the us versus them mentality is with your own neighbor. I mean, that's how you get a, <laughs> like, that's how a lot of politicians get a country together. Us versus them. The fear of the other. Facing off against another country. You know, tribalism could be a hell of a thing. Thanks for your thoughts. I'm starting to think that too. But it's very important to know one's place. We don't need Hazura's technology. If we decide safe if we decide seafaring and flying boats don't matter much to us. We'll nip trouble in the bud. Got it? It's important to know one's place, understand? Flock, where are you? Where are the Azamavita? A hermit. Oh, wow, the commotion. Where have you been? Chasing the cart titan. It's with the armor. They're swimming away. Hurry up, they'll escape. We need the flying boat. Or the Azamavita to get it ready. What are you... What are you doing? Why didn't you chase the cart? It's obvious they'd run south. They killed Jonan and the Okapone. Armin, there's a flying boat. Fuck, send the Azuma me mechanics out here pronto. <laughs> He's looking back like... Did, did, did they buy it? Are they buying it? Stop. Halt. That is Samuel. What are you doing? Explosives. Are those explosives? Take those off. We need to stop the Marlians. So they'll get away. Wait, calm down you two. The truth is, we heard you guys teamed up with Marley and want to use the flying boat to stop the rumbling, supposedly. Th th that's crazy talk. Yeah, if Aaron stopped, the island is doomed. Th that's what we thought. You guys wouldn't put the island in danger after we finally saved, right? Of course not. Thank goodness. I don't know what we I would have done if you were traitors. Just hurry up and take the explosives off. You know, despite the fact there are enemies, part of me thought you guys might try to stop Aaron from killing everyone. What's wrong? I disconnected the detonator. Now, if Locke actually listens and lets the Azumabito mechanics come, and we somehow get everyone on board once the flying boat is ready. God, you guys are really giving away the tell. If all goes to the plan, no blood needs to be spilled. It's not. Like, even knowing what happens. Though you think it's a little strange? If they knew the enemy fled south, a locomotive would get there faster. Much faster than using horses, at least. So why would they be sneaking around? No, there's no proof. But trouble should be nipped in the bud. Oh shit, we failed. Yeah! Granny got the moves! I won't go down without a fight! Kick to the face! Bam! Kill me. Enemy attack! Mikasa, Armin, and Connie have betrayed Eldia. Kill them. They'll shoot through the window. Run to the basement. It's begun. We've got no choice but to wipe out the Jaegeris. Lady Mikasa. Oh. This way, Azubabita. Hunker down in the basement. Follow me if you want to live. Follow me if you want to live. Man. 
Music is ramping up. <laughs> hey, that stop. Oof. Armor, don't move. Sama, that is love the fine boat. Hurry. Sama, you. You betrayed us, Connie. Even though you said we'd expand the, our land and eat meat together. Damn it, why'd it come to this? Does there will always be a difference of opinion? We're sitting ducks here. They'll kill us one by one. It's fine. If we're in a safe place, the others can let loose. They're in the basement. Bring more explosives. They hold up with no escape. No. Could this be? <laughs> Coming in like, hey, what's up, guys? So much for that. Why'd it come to this? Nothing can take the violence out of people. Right, Captain? Female Titan. Armored Titan. Catch more Thunder Spears. Yeah, the speed of the female titan! And it's good! That is blow it up! Armin, stop! Stop! You traitors, why? Aren't we all friends? You are our friends, but I... Someone has to be the one to do it. God damn. Someone has to be the one to stain their hands with blood. Armin's understanding. Oof. You know, it sucks too because I do not remember these guys whatsoever. Even when I was reading the manga, I'm just like, I don't recognize these people. But at the same time, it's just like, I mean, shoot. Honestly, there could have been any point where I've seen these characters. Like, that first time before Eren transformed, it could have been during that time. You know, when Armin first came up with that plan to shoot the Titans so that they'd bl be blinded. So everyone else could kill off the Titans in that warehouse where all the gas was. It could have been during any of the multiple scouting operations. Like, it really could have been at any point. There have been so many military operations in this series. The funny thing is, the number of memorable characters who we've seen throughout the series, we never really see who they side with. We either see them as victims of the Jaegerists, or they're not seen at all. It's mostly Flock and the one girl who admires Mikasa. That's literally been it. That's the one thing that always took me off guard. Because kind of going back through the series, like, there are multiple people who you just don't see after a certain point. You hear that maybe they join the Jaegers, but you never really see them engaged in any kind of battle. Like, Mikasa, Armin, Jean, Connie, they never face off against any of those people. Which maybe that was Isayama's way of just n making sure you do where you should probably side in terms of things, but... I don't know, it's hard to say sometimes. Preview. Hesitate and die. Aim a gun and pull the trigger. All while believing the betrayal leads to saving the world. Next episode, Retrospective. <sighs> It's easy to justify murder when you think you're saving the world. But what is the world to you? Innocent people? Or your neighbors and friends? Is that even a choice? <laughs> like, it, there's some hard decisions in this series. I really do admire Isayama for really going for a lot of these hard choices, hard decisions, hard-hitting moments. None of this is easy. Just murder and kill? Like, that's what he was really trying to get across with that whole moment. With Armin and Ghani. The, the understanding of why. And how Berthold, Reiner, Annie could just kill so many people. Because they thought they were doing the right thing. Like we could do amazing, terrible, awful thing. When we think we're in the right. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think you could take a life if you thought it was the right thing to do? And what if you found out you were wrong afterward? What would you do then? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe for more. Or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. And until next time, I've been News This Then, and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye <laughs>